Hello, football fans and Stratomatic football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am back with another game in our Bears season. Now, if you would recall, I played the first game of the season, and we won that game. If you go over here and we look at our schedule, we see that we won that game 38-17. So uh, we are on a little bit of a winning streak. Actually, it's not a streak. It's just we won one, but that's good for the Bears of last year. So our next game is Tampa Bay, and I'm going to play the next game. I'm going to keep playing until we lose. So, um, and then when we lose a game, then I might just skip around and, you know, skip two or three games and then put one up. But until we lose... I'm going to assume that I am the master man with the master plan, and uh, I can manage to lead this team to victory myself, that we can will this team to victory. So, um, we're 1-0, as you can see, 38 points for, 17 against, and with that, let's get on with the game. And you can see all these games are set to out of play, except for our game against Tampa Bay. And we will play one week. And the games are in progress. And so I am looking forward to winning this game and getting the Bears up to 2-0, which I don't think they were. I think, in fact, I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think we lost to Tampa Bay in real life and were 0-2 after the first two games of the season. So, um, that seems to be about right. Uh, so, we will, no problems found, and we're ready to go here. And uh, we're queuing it up. So, I will launch the game. I am going to defer the kickoff for now. Uh, and so, we will kick off to Tampa Bay. This game is in Tampa Bay. Now... Uh, I expect, just like I told you in the first game, how we've got the Bears' final defense, I would expect Tampa Bay to have Baker Mayfield as their quarterback. And, uh, yes, that's exactly what's happening. Although you will recall, Baker Mayfield was not on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Game 1 of last season. So let's go over the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to have Chris Godwin out at flanker. Uh, the front line tight end is going to be Cade Otten. Right tackle will be Luke Gedeke. The uh, right guard will be Cody Mock. The center is Robert Hainsey. The left guard is Aaron Steiny. Uh, left tackle is Tristan Wiffs. Third wide receiver will be Trey Palmer. Mike Evans, of course, is at split end. You've got Baker Mayfield at quarterback. Last year he attempted 566 passes, completed 64.3% of them. Uh, and uh, I think it was last year that he didn't play the entire year with Tampa Bay. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it was the year before he joined Tampa Bay during the season. I'm not sure. And at halfback you've got Rashad White. But, you know, leave it in the comments if you know. If, especially if you're a Tampa Bay fan, you would know better than I did. So, uh, halfback Rashad White. Um, and with that, we're going to get on with it. I'm going to put in the nickel defense. We're going to put in a pass defense general. Looks like they want to pass, but they don't. They hand off, but we stop him quickly. Rashad White gets stopped pretty quickly after getting two yards. And uh, we will go over the Bears defense in just a second after this... Uh, so we're gonna we we're gonna have uh, left end Montez Sweat again. We didn't get Montez Sweat until partway through the season. Left tackle Justin Jones, right tackle Andrew Billings. Uh, the right end will be Marcus Walker, Demarcus Walker. Uh, the left linebacker is Jack Sanborn. The right linebacker is T.J. Edwards. Then you've got uh, left cornerback Jalen Johnson, strong safety Joaquin Brister, free safety Eddie Jackson, uh, first defensive back is Kyle Gordon, and cornerback <coughs> Tyreek Stevenson. So 
I'm going to put in the pass again. I think he's sooner or later he's going to pass. And he, he runs again, but we stopped him again for two yards, I think. No three this time. So he's got a third and five. I think now he's going to pass. I don't know why he's not passing. Baker Mayfield had a good year last year. But I am going to put in the pass defense. And he does pass, but we get him right at the line. So he does get the five yards that he needed. And they have a first down. So they will continue moving the ball. We will continue being on defense. And uh, I'm going to go put in the pass again. And they run the ball and we get him in the backfield. So his running game is just not really going very well. That again was Rashad White, so you can see, uh, let's see here, White so far today has three rushes for four yards. You would think they would abandon that idea, but they're not, and I'm going to keep my pass defense in. Now he is back to pass. This is a legit everyday pass, and we stopped him just short of the marker. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will have a third and one coming up, and I am going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on White. I don't know if that's what he's going to do. And no, he runs it with Baker Mayfield. And it might be worth looking at Baker Mayfield's running card just for, you know, craps and giggles. So let's see. There is his running card, his line buck, you know, general stuff. Must run is okay. And then, of course, here is his passing card. So anyway, um, we're going to, I'm going to put in the pass. And he is back to pass. He's looking around. He's got all the time in the world. And he hits his receiver. That's probably... What's his name? Mike. Yeah, Mike Evans on the fly. So that was a big pickup there for 29 yards. They are just carving us up. So they have, Tampa Bay has a first and 10 on our 23. I'm going to put in the balance. Let's put in the balance and see what happens with that. Um, he is going to pass. And we stop him short of the marker, but again, only one yard short of it. So he only has to get one yard, which is... You know, not that challenging. And so, I'm going to put in the run. I'm going to put in the run and I'm going to key on white. Might as well go all in. But now he's going to pass. And uh, he's going to pass it in for a touchdown. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass to Payne Dunham. <coughs> Or Payne Durham. So, um, I guess. So, um, I'm going to put in the kick block. Let's see what we can do with that. Nothing. So, it's going to be 7 nothing Tampa Bay. But now, if you recall, in the Green Bay game, the same thing happened. We kicked off to Green Bay. And they just took it right down the field. Right down our throats. And they, uh, and they scored. And they were up 7 nothing quickly, just like Tampa Bay is. But they lost. So we're going to take the, uh, the uh, touchback, it looks like, here. And now let's go over our offense. We will have uh, DJ Moore at split end, Robert Tunyon at tight end, um, Braxton Jones at left tackle, left guard is Tavon Jenkins, the center is Lucas Patrick, the right guard is Nate Davis, right tackle is Darnell White, Tight end is Cole Komet. You've got Darnell Mooney at flanker. Justin Fields is the quarterback. And Khalil Herbert is the running back. And I am going to go short pass. Let's go short to Tunyon. Tunyon's a good tight end, right? Right? So let's see if we can hit him. No! It's incomplete. I am telling you. Fields has one of the worst passing cards, and I don't know if it deserves to be quite 
this bad. But I'm going to go short again, and this time to Mooney. Now, the Tampa Bay defense was a pretty good defense. And we get the first down, we get 12 yards on that. So, not bad. We needed that. I am going to go to the pro set, and we're going to go off tackle with Herbert. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. All right. So, I guess the, uh, yeah, we're not, uh, not fooling anybody with a run. So, let's go short to more. Oh, they're going to come in and sack Fields. All right, I got to pull something out of my butt here that I that I used with uh, some success against Green Bay. Um, let's yeah, you know, let's keep that in, but we're going to go end run with Fields. Of course, again, this is a risky play. He's drawing a crowd. But he gets caught in the backfield, so we're going to have to punt. He got no yards on that run, so he couldn't outrun those guys. So we're going to go with the punt and give the ball back to Tampa Bay. Again, as is um, the usual, when you've got a team that's not as good as the team you're playing against, you need to hope for mistakes by the uh, other team. And Green Bay did make mistakes. So, uh, anyway, that is a nice return by them. 19-yard return. I'm going to put in the pass defense. Now, again, and if you watch the Green Bay game, I said that if this becomes a blowout um, in favor of the other team, like the other team is just blowing out the Bears, then I will do an abbreviated um, playthrough near the end of the game and so that it's not like a, you know an hour-long game that you have to sit through when you know that we're going to lose the game. But that never happened. It was a bit of a blowout, but we blew them out, and I'm going to always show that entire game. But, uh, yeah, we stopped them again, so... This is not bad. He's got a third and seven. Definitely has to go for the pass. I'm going to double team Evans. And let's see what he does. Let's see if he can complete this. He does, but he's short of the marker. Let's see if he'll punt. That went to Cade Otten. I wonder if he'll punt. He is going to punt. Nice. I like that. I mean, because, you know, let's face it, he could have gotten the first down. And that is going to be a coffin corner punt, which will put us pretty deep in our end. Pretty deep by, with that I mean by the four-yard line. So, first and ten at the four. Let's go line buck with Herbert. And there is going to be, it's going to be a penalty on us. Luckily, the worst that can be is off is uh, half the distance, and you know we were already pretty well down there. Oh well, wait a minute, first and five, it was on them. All right, nice. So we got a first and five. I'm going to do a flat pass to Tunyon. Now this is a high percentage pass, but still Fields and he does complete it. Thank you, Fields. All right, so we pick up seven there, and we've got a first down, and so now we're moving the ball a little bit. And we did stop Tampa Bay on their second possession. So that's uh, encouraging to see. I'm going to go end run with Fields here on first and ten. Let's see if what he can get. Can he get some yards? That's a nice run. He gets nine yards for us. See, that's something I've got in my, you know, in my back pocket, which really... Um, Chicago's real brain trust didn't seem to embrace that very much. I don't know why they didn't. They wanted to see Fields be more of a uh, straightforward passing quarterback, but that's really not his game. And uh, I think the Steelers will probably better utilize him and understand what his uh, where his talents are. But anyway, he helped get us the first down because he got us within a yard, and then we got the yard. 
I'm going to go flat to commit. So flat pass to tight end commit. And that is, whoa, right in traffic, too. And he picked up eight yards on it. So the high percentage passes seem to be working here for, um, I'm going to go line buck with uh, Fields. And he gets the first down, which I fully expected to have happen. He got three yards, and we keep moving the ball. And again, if we utilize Fields' running ability, I think we have a shot. Um, flat pass to Mooney. He's moving around back there, looking. He's looking. He's got his man, but it's incomplete. So Darnell Mooney, wide open, but of course Fields couldn't hit him. Got a second and ten. Let's go short. Now this is risky because if this is incomplete, we're probably going to end up punting. But he makes it. It's complete. And he gets 11 yards on it. Something like that. Yep. So nice play. And as you can see, field today is 4 of 6 for 38 yards. So not great. Uh, we're going to go off tackle with Foreman. Uh, he's going to get way caught in the backfield. Now we're see. Now we're behind the eight ball here. He lost four yards. So getting all of that back, getting all you know the ten plus the four. Uh, let's go look in pass to commit. And that's going to be incomplete. So now we're really behind the eight ball. We've got a third and 14 coming up. I could go with the end run, but they would be looking for that. Ah, you know what? They're not going to be looking for that. Let's try that. Let's go end run with fields. Now there's a guy right on him, but let's see if he can beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And we are in Tampa Bay territory, so he got nine yards on that. So the question here is, do I go for it? And uh, he wants me to punt, and I think that that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to do the coffin corner punt. And that is going to give him... Yeah, yeah, we've got him penned pretty deep at the 11-yard line. I think that was the prudent way to go. So let's, I'm going to go, I'm just going to put in the run defense. No, he's passing. Yeah, you don't want to see Baker Mayfield passing. Oh, it's incomplete, though. It was an incomplete pass, and I wasn't even looking for it. Well, now we're going to definitely put in the pass on second and ten. He is passing, and we stop him right at the marker, which doesn't really do much good for us because he's still got the first down. Mike Evans on a curl. Pick that up. I'm going to put in the pass. He runs the ball, and he gets eight yards, seven yards on that. Chase Edmonds. So second and three, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Edmonds. And, ooh, we're offsides. So he's got a free play here. He'll probably take the play. He picks up 13 on that. <clears throat> Five seconds left in the first quarter. I'm going to put in the pass. And we he runs, and we stop him pretty quickly. So that should be the end of the first quarter as he gets two yards on the run. And we are. In the second quarter, it's a second and eight coming up. I'm going to look for the run. I think, just in general, I think he's going to run the ball. He doesn't. And he passes it, and he's going to get some massive yards out of it, too, into our territory. 
14 yard gain for them. They're already up 7 nothing. So we would like to hold them to nothing or a field goal at worst. I'm going to put in the pass defense. He is going to pass. And it is intercepted. I'm going to try to return it. I'm going to try to gain some yards. And, ooh, that was a nice idea. I think Mayfield ended up making the tackle on that. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to need some mistakes. And that puts the ball back in our hands in their territory. Let's go flat pass to Scott. Ooh, we're off. We false, false move, false start. Oh boy. So first and fifteen. Let's go looking pass to Moore. The penalties are going to kill us because we're not good enough. You know, I mean, it's 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 questionable that we could beat Tampa Bay straight up with no penalties and no turning of the ball over and everything. But all right, so we got a second and seven now. I am going to go flat to commit. He's back to pass. Looks like he's got him, and he does for a first down. At uh, we almost made the 30-yard line, but there was a nine-yard gain there for us. So we got a first and ten at the Tampa Bay 31. I am going to go look in pass to Scott. And that was a nice pickup. So we're in field goal range, definitely, for uh, Santos. Got a second and three. I am going to go line buck with Herbert. Hopefully this works or it gets us even some yard. And he does. He, I think he was looking for the pass because he got five yards on that. So 11.57 left in the half. We're moving the ball. I'm going to try one into the end zone. I sh you know, let's take a shot at the end zone. with. Ooh, he's offside. So we got a free play. And that free play, I'm going to take the free play. I'm going to take the results of the play on that. 14-yard gain. And we're going to decline the penalty. And we got a first and goal at the five. And I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. So we've got a second and goal to six. Let's go short to Komet. Let's see what that does. Oh, he's going to get sacked. Are you kidding? I mean, at least we're still easily in field goal range, but man. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to pull out my, uh, my rabbit out of the hat play here and run with fields. Doesn't work. We can always kick a field goal. And it doesn't work. <laughs> to be quite frank, it didn't work. Uh, so he got two yards on the play, but that's not going to be enough. So we are going to kick the field goal and cut the... Uh... Oh, he misses it! Unreal Santos misses a chip shot field goal. That is a killer right there. So it's still 7 nothing. They've got a first and 10 at their 20. I'm going to put in the pass defense, and there's somebody, on, a, and it was probably us, on a penalty because they're letting them play. And that was a huge gainer. Obviously, they are going to, I mean, really, they're going to score. So, obviously, unless, I mean, this, yeah, unbelievable touchdown pass on their first play from scrimmage. When we made a penalty, and we still couldn't stop them. Oh, no, it was on him. Wait a minute. Yeah, it looks like it was on him. All right, I don't know why they let him keep playing, but, um, yeah, I'm going to put in the pass. Defense. 
Nice that they uh, that that was a penalty, and that's going to be incomplete. That falls incomplete. It's going to be a second and ten. It's unreal. Why why would you let him keep playing when it, the penalty was on him? I don't understand that. Um, I'm going to put in the balance defense for a second and ten call. That's going to be Baker Mayfield back, and it's incomplete. So all of a sudden, Baker Mayfield, who was really sharp on the opening drive, he isn't looking that great on this one. I'm going to put in the pass defense. He is going to pass. And we don't stop him. I mean, we do stop him, but he gets the first down first. Chris Godwin was on the uh, reception on that. And I will put in the pass defense. And he runs it, but we get him pretty quickly. Maybe got a yard. Yeah, that's what he got. One yard. So there's 742 left. I'm going to put in the pass defense again. He is passing, and we sack him. Nice. So he gets dropped right at the line. Mayfield does. And they have a third and nine. Looking for the pass. I'm going to double team Evans. Always safe to do that. And it's incomplete. And they will have to punt. So we're holding them. We're holding them because they had a, a really costly penalty on a touchdown pass from deep in their own end. That could have made it 14 nothing, but didn't. It's 4th and 9, and I am going to put in the punt return. And let's see what we can get on this. I am going to run the ball. And that's a nice return, too. Nice return back to the 35. 21-yard return. Nice. All right, so we've got a first and 10 at the 35, 632 left. Let's go long. I want to just go long here. I want to air one out. Let's go long to more and see what we can do, what happens with that. Not that we were fooling them, but it's incomplete. Every once in a while, you got to keep them honest. So let's see. Got a second and 10. I'm going to go with a short pass to Moore. Oh, he's going to get sacked. And he's going to fumble it. And Tampa Bay has it. So that is not good. They've got a first and 10 at our 21. I'm going to look for the pass. He runs, and he's going to run almost all the way to the end zone. They're going to have the ball at the three-yard line with a first down after an 18-yard gain. So that was a bad turn of events right there for us, a terrible turn of events. I'm going to run and key on white. And they're going to pass. And, yes, a nice touchdown pass, second one of the game to Chris Godwin. And so Tampa Bay is up 14 nothing. I'm going to put in the kick block. Now we can't we can't get away from our game plan uh, because it worked fairly well until Fields decided to get sacked deep in his backfield and then fumble the ball. So, I mean, it was up until then it was only 7 nothing. They had scored on the opening drive and then we had held them every single time. So, we have to try to claw our way back. And uh, we're going to take the ball for a touchback. First and 10 at the 25. Let's go short to the flanker, Scott. And he's on a must run. That's not so bad, though. Uh, didn't get a lot of yards there, though. Four yards, so it's going to be a second and six. Second and six. 
Let's go flat pass to more. And that's going to be a first down. So we got the first down. We've got some time. We've got time to get down the field and get something. All right, so we've got a first and 10 at the Chicago 35. Let's go look in pass to Moore. And that is going to be completed for an eight yard gain. So we got a second and two. I'm gonna go line buck with Foreman. And he gets the first down, just exactly gets the first down. We've got a first and 10 at our own 45 with three minutes left. I'm gonna go flat pass to commit. And he does catch it, but he's gonna get out of bounds. I think he got out of bounds after a five yard pickup. Got a second and five at the, uh, right at midfield. Let's go short to Mooney. And that's gonna be caught and he's going to get tackled inbound. So I might want to, well, we've got the, we've got the, uh, got the two minute warning coming up, so. I don't think we have to call a timeout there. Uh, two minutes. We're down 14 nothing. I'm going to pull out that end run with Fields right here. Let's see how it works. Might work. No, it's not going to work real well at all because he does that thing where he tries to get to the sidelines. I hate that when it gets inside two minutes. And they don't really try to get, I mean... He got four yards. I got to call a timeout. So a minute 52 left. We've got a second and six at the 32. Let's try a short pass to Moore. Oh, he's going to get sacked. No, you cannot do that. Oh, my God. This Tampa Bay defense is relentless. It's killing us. All right, um, I got to go long to Mooney, third and 17. Now he is going to be out on his own here and doing the must run thing. And he gets a lot of yards. He gets 12 yards. And we have a fourth and five. I'm going to try to kick the field goal. Lord knows this is really not a chip shot at all. But it is up. And it is good. So he could make the other one, but he makes this one, which was even longer. All right, whatever. Um, so it's 14-3. Now we're going to get the ball at the start of the second half. So 14-3 isn't as bad as it might seem. He's only got a minute seven to try to get down the field and get something. And, of course, I'm going to pin my ears back and put in the pass defense. And somebody was uh, had a penalty. That's an incomplete pass. They let him play, but, of course, I don't know what that means because they let him play that one time when he had a touchdown pass. So it's going to be first and ten at the 25. Going to put in the pass. He runs the ball, and we get him in the backfield. So, uh, 30 seconds left. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to do the, just going to do the victory for me. No, no, he isn't. But he does run the ball with Mayfield, and we get him in the backfield. Drop for a minus one yard loss. 
and third and 11 and we're going to put in the pass and he runs the ball and that probably ate the rest of the half I would guess no he's gonna punt all right we'll put in the punt return I'm going to try to gain some yards, and he doesn't get very many. Three yard return after a 45 yard punt. We are going to. I'm going to do the. Uh, you know, we're going to try the long pass. Hail Mary. Ooh, he's offside, so the half can't end on the penalty. And it's incomplete. So I think we're going to get another shot at that play. I'm going to accept the penalty. And so now we have a first and five at the 37. We're going to go long to more. We'll see what that gets us. Well, he had a lot of time. And it's intercepted, and we tackle him, and that is going to be the end of the half. Okay, and we will take a look at the halftime statistics as soon as we have the uh, possession of the ball at the line, but it's 14-3 at halftime, so not very good. So let's take a look, uh, reports, box score. You got Fields is 12 of 17 passing for 109 yards and one interception. And Baker Mayfield's 11 of 16 passing for 125 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. Fields has rushed the ball eight times for 43 yards. Herbert's rushed it four times for eight. And Deonta Foreman has rushed it twice for negative two yards. Rashad White has rushed it six times for seven yards. Chase Edmonds has rushed it four times for 28 yards, and Baker Mayfield three times for five. And I'll let you just take a look at the receiving stats. I'm not going to go over those. Those are kind of baked into the quarterback stats. Um, but uh, Evans having a big game, four receptions for 66 yards. And we are going to go look-in pass to Mooney from the first down. And that is going to be complete for a first down. Like it. I like it a lot. So we got the 10 yards. We're now going to be at our 35. And we have a first and 10 at the 35. I'm going to do a look in pass to Komet. And that's going to be a first down. So he's got two consecutive passes where he picked up 10 yards. Nice. That's going to uh, pad the old stats for uh, Fields. He is, in fact, 14 of 19 now, 129 yards and an interception. Uh, we are going to go draw play with Fields. Let's, let's try that. Let's see what that gets me. Ooh, that's going to get me three yards, maybe? No, one yard, just one. Huh. All right. Second and nine, let's go look in pass to Moore. And it does he does catch it, and he's got some serious yards too. We are in Tampa Bay territory. So Fields hits Moore on a hitch for 17 big yards. Not a lot of penalties in this game either. We're gonna go flat to uh, Mooney. And it is out there, and Mooney catches it for a first down and a lot more. We're just picking this defense apart now all of a sudden. And it's nice to see Fields completing passes at a little better clip. 
he is now 16 of 21 for 164 yards. Um, let's go. We're going to go end run with Fields. They're not going to be looking for that. They will not be looking for a run, a straight up run, and we're going to do that with Fields. He gets a few yards. He gets maybe five or six on that. Five yards, yeah. So we got a second and five. I'm going to go look in to Mooney. That's going to be incomplete. So that ends his string of uh, completions in a row. Got a third and five. Third and five. We're going to pull it out again. End run fields. And he, ooh, he's just short of the marker. What am I going to do here? No, we're not going to kick. I'm going to go blocking back, and we're going to go line buck with fields. And he gets the first down, and a little bit more, and that's good. There's no way I wanted to give it up. First of all, even if we end up kicking a field goal, I want to have the ball a little bit longer. Okay, so Fields is getting tired. Let's go to Badgen and get Badgen in there, get him a little bit of a rest. We're going to go flat pass. Oh, no, we can't do flat pass. We can't do look and pass. All right, we're going to go short to Mooney. Badgen's back. He's looking. And it is a touchdown pass by Badgen. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, don't count us out yet. I'm telling you. So, we're going to... Who is that? Who is that that's tired? Fields is holding. Okay, so... Let's go with the extra point. We'll just kick the extra point. And it's going, we're going to make it 14-10. So, good game. We're kicking off. Hopefully, Fields can rest while we are on defense. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure he would have rather have been in there for the touchdown pass. This is a really great return, though, by them. They're going to get it out to the 34. First and 10 at the 34. I'm going to look for the pass. Because whenever he runs, it, we seem to stop him pretty quickly. We didn't there, though. He did run the ball, and he got 14 yards for it because we weren't looking for it. 15 yards. Still, I'm going to go with the pass. I'm going to make him get those yards. Ah, he does it, though. Then all of a sudden, now they can run. They get six yards on that. Yeah, I'm going to look for the run, but you know what? He's probably going to juke me, but I'm going to look for the run. No, he does. He passes it. But it's just a quick out, and it only gets the uh, pretty much the first down with a five-yard pickup. So he's got a first down at our 40. I'm going to look for the pass again. He runs it again. And he's going to get five out of that. All right. I don't know. He's got me guessing wrong, and that's not good. We can't be guessing wrong. I'm going to look for the run. He does run, and we do stop him. So he's two yards short of the first down. I'm going to go all in to try to stop the run. And if he passes, he passes. That's, I mean, pretty much the attitude I'm going to have. Uh, we're going to run and key on white. And he's going to pass. And that's fine. I mean, you know. And he gets some yards out of it. He's moving. He's moving. Got a first and 10 at our 23. I'm going to look for the pass. He'll probably run. He does. 
But this time we get him relatively quickly, maybe two yards, three yards. Um, I'm going to go balanced. And he runs the ball, and we do stop him, but again, he only has to get two yards. I'm going to go with the run and key on white. All in on stopping white. And that is exactly what he does, and we do stop him. So let's see if he kicks the field goal. He probably should kick the field goal, which would make it 17-10. And that's what he's going to do, and we're going to go kick block. And we don't quite get there, so he does get it up and good, and so Tampa Bay takes a touchdown lead by the score of 17-10. So 5.13 left in the third quarter. I am going to try to run with the ball. I don't know what you would expect me to do. I'm not going to stand at the 5 and wait to be tackled. So, so we have a 1st and 10 at our 19. Fields is still tired, so I guess we should get him out of there and put in Badgen. And uh, Badgen is, on a flat pass, he's really just about as good as um, Fields is. But he's not going to run like Fields. And that is just way incomplete. So we're going to have a second and ten. Again, put Badgen back in. Let's go short. Tunyon. Oh, they're offsides. Well, that's good for us. I mean, obviously, it was incomplete, so let's see if they give it to us automatically. You would think they would. Nope, I have to accept it, but I will. So it's going to be a second and five at the Chicago 24. I'm going to go look in pass to Moore. And he does hit his man for a almost 13-yard gain, it looks like. No, only eight. Okay, eight. So, first and ten at the Chicago 32. Let's go off tackle with Foreman. Uh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. That guy, just Deonta Foreman, just cannot get a break here. He loses a yard. I'm going to bring in Badgen. So apparently Fields is going to be tired for the rest of the game. Which, again, that's not good. We're going to go flat pass to Moore because one of the big parts of our game plan is... Oh, they fumbled! Wait a minute, maybe we're going to recover. I'm going to pick it, uh, well, we, we didn't go anywhere with it, but anyway, it looks like we still have it. Well, I'm going to definitely accept the penalty. So we have a second and six at the Chicago 36. I'm going to put Badgent back in, and we're going to go flat to Moore. I mean, we're moving the ball, so, you know, I can't complain too badly here. And we have a first and ten at the uh, Chicago 44. I'm going to go short. To Mooney, of course, I've forgotten I left Fields in. Let's see if he can complete this short pass. He does, though. Nice. Now, I'm not really sure what him being tired does to him, but he made a nice uh, key pass completion there. 
And you can see on the day, he's 18 of 24, 183 yards on a touch and an interception. So we're going to put Badgent back in. And this was a good thing about having a, a cop, competent backup quarterback for the team. Going to go, fl oh, he's off sides. Nice, flat pass to Mooney. And I'm just going to take the first down. I'm going to take the result of the play, which is the first down. I'm going to decline the penalty. So we have a first and 10 at the Tampa Bay 35. I'm going to go look in to Lewis. And again, I forgot to take um, Fields out, and he throws an incomplete pass. Of course, Santos likes to make these long field goals. In close? No. But these long ones, he loves. Um, so we're going to go. We're going to. Chain, oh no, cancel. No. We're going to, what in the heck? Why aren't you letting me change it to Badgen? There we go. Going to change it to Badgen. And we're going to go flat to more. And he does complete the pass, and that should make an easier field goal, at least for Santos, if we don't get the first down, because now we've got like a third and three coming up. Third and three. Get Badgent in there. And we're going to go look in pass to Komet. And somebody was off sides. Somebody had a penalty. If it's on him, I'm just going to decline it. Uh, looks like it was on us. Third and 13. Going to put in Badgent, and we're going to go short to Mooney. And he does hit him, and he hits him for a maybe a touchdown pass, second touchdown pass for Badgent. Nice. I love Tyson Badgent, let me just tell you. All right, so, I mean, we got to take a look at Badgent, man. That dude is just having a day. He is 5 of 6, 69 yards, and two touchdown passes. And we're going to try the extra point, put that up. There's only 14 seconds left in the third quarter, and it's tied at 17 all people. So, um, yeah, we're kicking off. Uh, man, now I'm getting nervous because this is we've got a chance to win this game. I'm going to put in the pass defense because he's probably getting a little antsy. He runs the ball. We do stop him after he gets four or five, though. Yeah, five-yard gain. Sanborn with the stop. We're going to look for the pass. This time he is passing, and it is incomplete, so he's going to have a third and five coming up here. Big. That's big. I don't think he's going to run, because he doesn't have the running backs to get a to get five yards so he is passing and we don't stop him we stop him at the marker come on I'm gonna put in the pass defense he runs the ball and we do again get him after five yards So he's got a second and five coming up. This time I'm going to guess run. I'm just going to guess the general run. And he does run the ball, but we don't stop him until he gets six yards. Oh, boy.
I'm going to look for the run, just a general run. Oh, maybe he was, yeah, it looks like he was had the penalty of false start or something. Yeah, he's got a first and 15. Now I'm going to look, uh, you know what, I'm going to look for the run. I think he's still going to run, and he does. And we do get him really quickly, nice. So he gets two yards there, he's going to have a second and 13 coming up. Now I'm looking for the pass. He does pass, and we do get him right where he catches the ball. He gets five yards on that. And so he is going to have a third and eight coming up. I am looking for the pass for sure. He does pass the ball, and he gets the first down and a lot more. Maybe even a touchdown on that. He does. He throws a touchdown pass. And damn. Let's try the kick block. Again, we're going to need him to make a mistake somewhere. So he takes the lead now. 24-17. Eleven fifty eight left in the game. And uh, we're going to have, uh, yeah, <sighs> cancel. We're going to put in Badgent. And we're going to go flat pass to Mooney. Badgent's back, and he hits his man for a first down. Badgent is just unbelievable here. Uh, first and 10 at the 35. Again, we want to go to Badgent. Going to go with the uh, look-in pass to Komet. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, okay. Put in Badgent. Second and ten. Flat pass to Foreman. And Foreman catches it, and he's going to get some knee nice yards. Real nice yards into Tampa Bay territory. Man, Badgent is, he's the man, man. He is 7 of 9, 96 yards and 2 touchdowns. Let's try a short. Let's try one, air one out to Mooney, short pass. Ooh, I think maybe he was offsides. That's incomplete, but I think he was offsides. Yeah, we're going to accept the penalty for sure. Now it's first and five at the Tampa Bay 43. And I'm going to try another short pass. This time we're going to go to Mooney. <clears throat> Is there anything Tyson Badgett can't do? <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. So we Badgett today is eight of ten, 111 yards and two touchdown passes. Um, first and ten at the Tampa Bay 28. I am gonna go flat to Mooney. And he, I think he catches it. Only for like five or six yards, though. Five yards, yeah. Uh, second and five at the Tampa Bay 23. I'm 
Gonna do a look in pass to Moore. And he catches it right at the marker. So now I don't know if we can do the flat passes and the looking passes anymore. Um, we're going to leave fields in. And I'm going to do a short pass to Moore. And it's incomplete. God. Well, they are going to let us do the looking passes and everything because that was an option. So I am going to put in Badgent. And we're going to do a looking pass to Moore. And it looks like it's incomplete. So, um, hmm. third and ten. I'm going to put in Badgent, and we're going to try a flat pass to the like third wide receiver, Scott. And he does catch it, maybe for a touchdown! No! No! <laughs> Almost was another touchdown pass by Badgent. But not quite. So, 7.43 left. First and goal to two. Full house, right. We're going to go off tackle with Johnson. And he makes a touchdown and we tie the game. All right, and we're going to kick the extra point. Try to make it 24 all, and we do. Hell of a game here, people. Hell of a game. Now, if we could just force Tampa Bay into some kind of a tragic mistake, then we could actually win this game. I'm going to put in the pass defense. He runs the ball. And he's going to get a lot of yards on it. God. I don't know why he insists on running. I mean, this running game is not nearly as good. All right, we're going to look for the run again now, I guess. Run and key on white. I mean, that's he seems intent on doing that. But now he passes. Now he's, of course, going to pass. And for a lot of yards. Oh boy. And it is getting late now. Because we aren't a good offense for high, for a low percentage passes. I'm going to put in the balanced defense. He passes it and it's incomplete. So that's good. He's at our 37, so that's not really field goal range, or at least it's not a chip shot for sure. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he is passing. And it is incomplete. Nice. So we've got him at a third and ten. I'm going to put in the pass He is passing, and we do stop him. So let's see if he tries to kick a field goal from the 30. I, I would think that's what he's going to do. He got 70 yards on that play. I'm going to put in the kick block. Hopefully we can stop this kick. We can't. And he takes the three-point lead. So now it's all in our hands. If we can get a touchdown, we got five minutes left. If we can get a touchdown, we can win the game. Because that would probably eat just about the rest of the game. 442 left. All 
All right, we're going to go get Badgen. He's going to go flat to Tunyon. And Tunyon is going to make a beeline for the sidelines, which is not great, but he does get the first down, it looks like. Okay, we have a first and 10 at our 35. We'll put in Badgent again. I know there's a way to stop from having the guys just go to the sidelines, but I'm not sure how to do that. So we're just going to play this way and hope we can make it work. I think that's complete, and he got stopped right there for four yards, yeah. Still plenty of time, though. Put in Badgen. Uh, look in past to Komet. And that's just incomplete. Throwing it to nobody, so it's going to be third and six. Third and six. Put in Badgen. Put in flat pass. Mooney. I don't know if he caught that. He did. He caught it. He got four yards, but we're still short. We've got a fourth and something, but obviously I'm going to go for it. Um, we're going to put in Badgen. And we're going to put in the look in pa pass to Moore. And he does catch it for the first down. We keep moving the ball. Moving the ball, people. Badging today, 15 of 19, 159 yards and two touchdowns. Okay. And, he, and he's not even pretending that we're not going to do that anymore. We are going to have Badgent in. Oh, wait a minute. No, they didn't. So let's put in Badgent. And go flat to more. And more catches it, and he's going to make a beeline to the sidelines, and he's going to get caught in the field of play. So we're going to call a timeout, and, uh, Put in Badgen and put in a look in pass to Moore on second and three. And it does, and it is good. It's a good for a first down. Badgen is the man, I'm telling you. Uh, we're going to call it second time out. And a uh, minute 45 left. Put in Badgen. First and 10 at the Tampa Bay 37. Flat pass to Komet. And I don't know if that was complete, but it was behind the line anyway. Yeah, it was complete for minus four yards. All right. Badgent again, obviously. Flat pass to Tunyon. And Tunyon catches it, and he's going to get some yards. Get some nice yards there. I mean, he got 12 yards, so hey. We got a third and two from the 29. Put in Badgen. I'm going to go line buck this time with Herbert. Oh, he got stopped after like a yard. 
Zero yards. He didn't even get the z yeah. Well, we have to... Uh, I'm going to call a timeout, and we are not going to do that. We're going to go for it on fourth and two. I don't know. This is a tough call because I could have the game tied. I could tie the game, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for the win. Could cost us. I'm going to put in Badgen, and we're going to go flat pass to Moore. And he does complete the pass, and it was it paid off, man. It paid off because we're still moving. First and ten at the Tampa Bay twenty. Okay, second and ten at the Tampa Bay twenty. <laughs> gonna put in Badgen, and we're gonna go short pass to Mooney. Oh, he's going to get sacked. Come on. We really couldn't afford that. All right. Uh, third and 16. You know what? I'm going to leave him in. And we're going to go short to more. He gets the outlet man, and the outlet man is just going to get a few yards and get out of bounds, and not really even quite get out of bounds, but... We have a fourth and nine at the Tampa Bay 19, and he wants me to go for it? No. All right. Um, yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna kick the field goal with eight seconds left. And that's gonna tie the game at twenty seven apiece. Uh, no, we're just gonna do a kickoff. Wanted me to do an onside kick. Come on. I mean, both both teams have to get the ball on, under the new rules. So, and he gets a nice uh, return too. Okay, nice. He's going to kick off to me. So we're going to have the ball first. And we will, of course, put in Badgen. He's our secret weapon. He's going to do a flat to Moore. And really, I you know I hate this kind of offense. I hate nickel and diming it down the field. But that's the only way we can do it: move the ball. So second down, we're going to put in Badgen. And we're going to go flat pass to Komet. And I think he caught it. It looks like maybe he caught it. Yes, for five yards. So we got a third and five. Um, put in Badgen. Put in look in pass to more. And he does catch it for the first down and we keep the keep the ball moving here, people. Uh, we're gonna put in Badgen. And 
we're going to go flat pass to more. And that's going to be close to the first down, but not quite. He got eight yards on it, though, and we are almost into Tampa Bay territory. Going to put in badging. But we're going to go line buck with Johnson. And he almost got it, but he didn't quite. Got a third and one. I'm going to leave this offense out there, and we're going to go line buck with Fields. And he does carry a guy to the first down. So we've got a first and 10 at the Chicago 46. Put in Badgen and look in pass to Moore. And that's going to be complete into Tampa Bay territory for uh, six yards. And we have a second and four, obviously. That's what that would bring up. Put in Badgen. Um, flat pass to Mooney. There's somebody, there's a penalty on the play. Hopefully on him. Because that was behind the line. It's going to be a serious loss of yards. But it was on us. So it's going to be a second and 14. Put in Badgen. Stick with the game plan. Uh, look in pass to more. And he catches it. And he catches it for a lot of yards, baby. Right into Tampa Bay territory. And we will put in Badgen. And we will put in Looking Pass to Moore. And he led him just right and got uh, five yards out of that to DJ Moore. And we have a second and five at the Tampa Bay 30. Put in Badgen. Put in Flat Pass to Tunyon. I think he caught it. I want to say he caught it. And he did for four yards. Got a third and one. I'm going to leave that offense out there and we're going to go line buck. Really, we're going to go line buck with Herbert, though. Oh, he didn't get it! Now I have a real decision to make. So let's see. Huh. Fourth and one. He wants me to kick the field goal. And I know, in my heart of hearts, I really should do that. We're going to do it. We'll kick the field goal. I mean, I'm probably going to regret this, but... It's up and it's going to be good, but he's got to... Uh, he only has to get a field goal to tie me and keep the game going, or get a touchdown to win the game. But we will kick it off. And we will try to stop him. 3.07 left in the overtime period, too. So, um, 
he also is working against the clock because um, if he, you know, if he doesn't have enough time, all right, that's incomplete. I'll take it. I've got a 30 to 27 lead and we're in overtime. With only 251 left, I'm going to look for the pass. He runs the ball and he doesn't get anything. I think he got back to the line, maybe. Zero yards. That's exactly right. So he's got a third and ten. Of course, now he has two downs here because he's not going to punt on fourth down. So it's not like we can just hold him here and we're happy. And he did catch it, but he caught it in bounds just past the marker, too. He only got the 11 yards. So he's got a first and 10 at the 36. We're going to put in the pass. He does pass, and it is incomplete. So, like, time is working against him as well as our defense right now. Going to put in the pass. He runs the ball, and he's not going to get a lot of yards. He gets maybe a yard, maybe? Two yards. He gets two yards on that. So, uh, yeah, a minute 30 left. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass. And if we can, third and eight. We're going to sack him. Nice. We're sacking Mayfield. All right. It comes down to this. He's going to have a fourth and forever to go. Fourth and 16 is coming up for him. One oh seven left. Going to put in the pass defense. And he catches the ball, but he doesn't make the first down, and it looks like we win the game, people. Yes. Nice. That was a great win right there. So the Bears are 2-0. and If you're keeping track at home, we're 2-0. and So let's go to the box score on this. Because this was crazy. Badgent was 27 of 33 passing for 249 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. Fields was 19 of 27 passing for 190 yards and an interception. Mayfield was 20 of 30 for 254 yards, uh, three touchdowns and an interception. Fields rushed it 13 times for 58 yards, a 4.5 yard average, and his long was 12. Khalil Herbert rushed it only six times for eight yards. Deonta Foreman rushed it three times for negative three yards. And Rashawn Johnson rushed it two times for three yards. Rashad White rushed it 19 times for 73 yards. Edmonds rushed it five times for 33, and Mayfield three times for five. I'll let you take a quick look at the receiving stats, and then we're going to go back out and we're going to look at the standings. So, let's go... Well, yeah. All right, so you can see we are... Leading the North with a 2-0 record. Green Bay is 1-1. One one. Detroit's 0-2 and, and Minnesota's 0-2. And, and let's take a look at some of the stats that we've got going on overall. Fields is 33 of 52 passing, 363 yards, 3 touchdowns and an interception for a 95.3 passer rating. And Badgent is 28 of 38 for 254 yards, 2 touchdowns and an interception and I'll just let you look at some of these other stats there's the uh, rushing and receiving stats so yeah we're 2-0 and, oh, and I am loving that and that's going to be it for me Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off <laughs>